Mauricio is going to discuss this project that involves computer graphics into improving the uh, uh, Cuban environment. Uh, so you see again that he's trying to bring some of uh, our the spirit of collective intelligence uh, into it. I think you can better take that. If, uh, does that do that? Okay, sorry for the inconvenience. My name is Mauricio. I'm an architect and urban planner, and I'm a student in computing applied in, uh, in PPGCA here in UTFPR. Well, my research uh, are about computer graphs applied in urban environment, uh, more specifically in CAD beam seen VR and AR, that means computer-aided design, building information modeling, seeing information modeling, uh, virtual reality, and augmented reality. Well, first of all, uh, it's important to highlight many, the meaning of computer graphics uh, used in this work. When I refer to computer graphics, that means uh, it's a uh, architect's point of view. I'm referring just about the softwares used to draw projects in architecture, engineering, and other disciplines, okay? Well, to make this presentation more dynamic, I'll make two, uh, some inroads into the main topics not to just reading on the screen. Uh, so if you want, uh, I can disponibilize the, the, the files after this uh, and make some questions at the end. Well, I'll speak briefly about the importance of cities in the 21st century uh, from its relationship with development, as well the importance of a city uh, having a virtual model that represents it. Carlos Slate, that is a urban planner too, uh, he wrote a, a book uh, that says the 9th century was the century of the empires, the 25th century was the century of the nations, in the 21st century is the center of the cities. Uh, if, we, if, if we think about the New York, uh, Tokyo, Sao Paulo, Barcelona, or even other cities that we know or that we uh, heard to talk about, we can imagine why he says this. Well, the importance of cities in the 21st century, uh, some rates of the, the some urbanization rates uh, made by the United Nations or uh, Inter-American Development Bank uh, shows that the, these rates, these world rates in 1950 was about 29%, while in Lucky, lucky here is Latin American and Caribbean population was 41 in 1950s. After 60 years in 2010, this urbanization rates uh, increased uh, for 51% in the world, while in Latin America and Caribbean it, it was 80%. Some, project, uh, some projections um, has a, a, an expectative that in 2050 these urbanization rates of growth it will be 69% while, while in the Latin America it will be 89%. That's uh, scary if we, if we think it, we don't have a, a, a practice that uh, worry about this, this trend. 
in our cities, how we live in, in, in cities, we work in cities, we study in cities. Well, to build a database for the city that allows visualization and interaction with their spaces in a virtual way. Uh, most of these important cities like Berlin or Singapore already have the, the databases in showed uh, by a, a virtual model of their cities. The general objective is in this work is to, to carry out a compilation of recently produced bibliographic content. Because uh, all the results that I, that I find uh, shows only uh, a little part of these resources or these tools uh, related to computer graphics. Uh, remembering that computer graphics for an architect is just the software that he uses in his, uh, uh, their routines, okay? Well, the, the work uh, has a, a compilation of a small specific objectives that I will be using this presentation to develop the, the, the mainly 10, okay? So I'll, I will take the, each one of these and make some commentaries, all right? Uh, the importance of the city, uh, we already saw in the abstract. Architecture and urban planning in the information age. According to Castells, connectivity is the key word uh, for the metropolitan regions in the information age in order to ensure competitiveness in global networks. And he gives some examples like Bilbao uh, with their Guggenheim Museum made by Frank Yarrow, uh, who is the architect and the author. Other examples like Barcelona and <coughs> the Santiago Calatrava's architecture Calatrava, uh, for, for who doesn't know, uh, is the architect that made the, the project of Rio's Art Museum, Mark, in Rio de Janeiro. And for castles, these examples are the, the new cathedrals of the information age, uh, where the pilgrims get to search for the meaning of their boundary. Uh, just pause to, to situate, uh, he, criti uh, he, he criticizes it, right? Uh, the fact that the architecture is used only for a, for a publicity, um, if, if, it, if it doesn't worry about the, the, the urban context, the urban planning, uh, where he, he's, he's added, just added, uh, uh, like a, a commercial, commercial thing. Another specific objective is about the cities and technological future. Well, after this contextualization, I will highlight the main tools, softwares, and platforms of computer graphics, and more using the AECO market, Architecture, Engineering, Construction, and Operation of the Series, okay? That means it, uh, it can be used uh, maybe for an architect, or an engineer, or an constructor, or an operator, like a manager, or a, 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 somebody in the government. Well, CAD, Computer Aided Design, uh, was the first software uh, accepted and integrated with the architect's work routines. Uh, more as a matter of productivity 
Uh, initially, there was an alternative of drones. In case of Brazil, it still had a late uh, acceptance and integration in relation to the international markets uh, for various reasons, like such as cultural, economic, or political. After a long period of mostly use of CAD uh, in their routines, architects now go through a, a new paradigm, paradigm or paradigm? paradigm uh, shifting their work routines. The design development life cycle, life cycle of a project which was done in a, uh, an isolation and in a linear process among its designers uh, now becomes cyclical, participatory and simultaneous. The virtual model of the project that until then was offered by the CAD tools is no longer enough uh, as information for its execution. The final product uh, for visualization, budget, construction and operation uh, now is unique and contains all project information very different from that model that was produced in CAD tools, okay? And for this, uh, it has to be produced in a participatory and simultaneously uh, way. Comparing uh, in a very rudimentary way, uh, this will be the production process of drones in CAD process and versus BIM process. This illustration uh, was taken in an enterprise here in Curitiba that uses, that, that works in BIM platform. Okay. While in the CAD process, the process was very straight and linear. Uh, in the process, uh, it's made in a very cyclical, maybe in a participatory way. Uh, I'm the architect, I disponibilize my model in a 3D, in a 3D model, uh, in a hall, for example, by the structure projects, access this and make their insurance as in our comments and I'm seeing at the same time I, I, I it, it doesn't necessarily that I expect two weeks he prepares her pro, uh, their project and send me back to to analyze it may be at the, in the same time in real time Another specific objective is the newest computing uh, resources applied to the to see uh, still in virtual uh, still in computer graphics like virtual reality and augmented <coughs> reality. I say newest computing resources when I when I refer to the uh, architecture market, okay? It's new for this application, this kind of application. Some examples of virtual reality, we have the CAVE in USP University. CAVE is, that means CAVE Automatic Virtual Environment in University of Universidade de São Paulo, here in Brazil. And Photoscope, uh, I think it's in New York City. Augmented reality with some examples applied in architecture markets like some apps that allow you to see the model of your house just uh, focusing the plan printed in the paper, for example. And you have your virtual model or just to manipulate with some glasses 
that follows the, the architect of the engineering and eventually this model and verifies some uh, interactions or uh, some kind of troubles or, or uh, some clashes. At the end, I left the concept of scene uh, just to contextualize uh, about the, the use of the BIM concepts uh, used on a, on a building project to apply on the environment, the urban environment. Okay. Since the information model is an extension of the BIM concept. Uh, just to apply in the urban environment. The clear benefits provided by the by the by the platform open this way, uh, but it's a still a incipient discussion. Even in Brazil or abroad, uh, we don't have uh, any significant example of this application in a whole city just some impressions about the scan and this is a, a, a very interesting uh, way to make some reserves about it. These models uh, follow the democratization of the most important and necessary information to, his, uh, to the inhabitants, planners, builders, uh, operators of the cities. Information on traffic control, for example, uh, mobility, accessibility, air quality, population mass, temperature, winds, permeability. Some conclusions of this small mapping uh, point mainly to this outstanding and one of them is this last one called Cersei, uh, just after Fernando speak about their, uh, this project. Uh, this, this way, uh, shown here, uh, enabled me to elaborate uh, an essay. An essay? That's right. Essay. Essay, an essay. Essay. Oh, okay, nice. An essay for the AGCI discipline in this course, uh, studying some of uh, some application of participatory practices in the process of planning and implementing a processing of computer graphics, just to to try to solve the, the problem that is uh, make a virtual city that demands a uh, a, a strong work uh, about the data, about the resources, and about the motivation too. <coughs> That's the end. Thank you very much. Thank you. Any questions, Maurice? No, I, I, no, go on. Do you want to make um, another? About yeah, uh, maybe starting in this building, this university building, or maybe in the campus that will be the building, mm -hmm. uh, just to test maybe how it, how it can work to the extent for this neighborhood or maybe the city. And you wanna do all this? Yeah, the idea is each one apply their expertise. For example, if I do my works with BIM, I can make a, a building in BIM. Or, no, I just can manipulate CAD tools. I can make a 3D yeah. model in, in CAD. Yeah. How do you plan to motivate people to cooperate in this crowdsourcing effort of you know, rebuilding this this building here, the building of the university, into a a 3D prototype or whatever. 
where everyone puts a little effort instead of you putting all the efforts? The idea to apply the participatory practices is just to try to make this uh, in a real way, to put all the, the guys or the interesting guys and girls <laughs> together in a, in a room to make um, a kind of dynamic and a specific dynamic to plan what motivates uh, each one uh, and what can be did, what, what can be do, uh, how it can be do, or what it needs in results in the database, for example, and to to use various multidisciplinary people like designers or uh, programmers, architects, engineers, and other other things. I don't know if this is a a good strategy, but it, it's, a, it's a thing to, to explore. And, and maybe you should go and talk to people at the architecture department and, uh, you know, but, but think of ways you could motivate other people to help you with little tasks. We, yeah. one, one thing that we have all already understood is that you, if you want the crowds to help you with a lot of effort, you will not get their, their support. But if you get them to sure. help with little things, the things that they think are important, the things that they care about, someone cares about a different part of the, the thing, and then at the end you may get your your project to that's be that's successful. Yeah. That's that's yeah. Any other questions? Uh, I know one other student in a very university that is uh, the last time that I saw a resident done is the implementation the building in the university and the across here. So if you talk to me it's a uh, Enjoy your ideas, participatory, and maybe you want to to connect with people. That's good. That's, good. that's so great. So I have the contact to Please, please. I'm glad. Okay, any other questions? Okay, thank you very much, Mauricio.